Welcome to another CompTIA N10008 performance-based question. This is a drag and drop. Um, here's the instructions. Match the appropriate speed, distance, and wavelength for each IEEE 802.3 standard. So for the Network Plus simulations, you definitely need to know the different standards for each kind of cable and network interface. You will need to know the different speeds, the distances that they operate in, and maybe even the wave weight. Ah, sorry, even the wavelengths. So especially for fiber, there's a lot of different information that you'll need to memorize. For me, since I've supported older networks, I know pretty well the different speeds for legacy devices. So I think I'll handle that okay. I do struggle a bit with the distances and um, pretty terrible with the wavelengths. So let's learn together. Okay, the speeds, we'll start here. So I find this to be quite easy. Um, 10 G, so 10 gigabytes per second. 10 G, 10 gigabytes. Pretty simple. Do you see 10 gigabytes? Where is it? Aha, right here. By the way, today's video is brought to you by Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Okay, we'll get rid of this. And we'll put the... And G, there we go, right here. So that one matches to that. Okay, next one, 10 base T. So 10 base T is the oldest one when ethernet was just starting out. So which one of the speeds is the lowest here? Well, the lowest one I see is 10 megabits, megabytes, per, megabits per second. Okay, so let's delete that one and move it over. Hey, it didn't delete. There we go. Okay. Did I make a mistake? I don't know why that deleted. This is a live video. Crazy stuff can happen. Okay. Good. Next one. Hun a thousand. Sorry. Thousand base T. So thousand base T would be how much? Well, a thousand megabits per second. Or you might see it written out differently, like one gigabit per second or gigabit network. Okay, move that over there. Uh, next one we have is 100 base T. The only one left is 100 megs per second. That has to be the one. Okay. I don't have a whole lot of experience managing fiber or setting up fiber. Um, so this is pretty hard for me. I might make some mistakes here. Um, let's see, 10G, I, I just cannot remember exactly which one is for which. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I can't remember. I have the answer key here. So let's look up the answers for distance. Okay, so 100 base T, uh, that's the... Oldest one, right? That's legacy. So that goes 100 meters. That's not very far at all. Um, I guess I don't have 100 base T because I used it for the other matching. That's okay. 1000 base SX, NG base ER. I don't have that there. I think that one is a mistake. Moving on. Okay, 1000 base SX. Uh, that one is to D, so 500 meter. Okay, next one. Uh, LX. So it's very similar, right? Kind of tricky. You have to really read it carefully. Um, that one is, I believe... Single mode fiber because it's five kilom kilometers. So let's match that one to five. Okay. Just because it's 10 base or 10G or 1000 base doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be 
shorter or longer, we have to really know if it's multi-mode or single mode. Uh, 10G base SR. C, so that one's really short. So that one has to be multi-mode, absolutely. Uh, that one is up to three. Okay, this is this one. Okay, then LR. LR is 10 kilometers. So that one is the longest one. I If I have to just memorize information and numbers, then uh, I, I tend to memorize what's the longest or what's the shortest. Um, that usually sticks out to me more. So I can recommend that. Uh, okay, and we have one more left. I'm pretty sure that one's the wavelength, EW. I don't think I have EW on here, do I? Oh, I do. Uh, okay, so 40 kilometers. That one's 40. So this one technically is the longest one. I'm not sure why that's deleting. Okay. Uh, 100 meter is actually going to be 100 base T as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's make a copy. I thought I made a mistake, but actually we're using this twice. So that should be fine. And then at some point I must have deleted the wavelength one, which is down here. Uh, it was 10 G base EW. Did we use that already? Ah, okay. So that one's being used twice as well. Okay, I probably should have been a bit more careful and made multiple. But there we go. We matched all 10. I made sure they're correct. I cheated. Um, I definitely need more practice. I need more experience with fiber wavelength, fiber distance. Um, the speeds are pretty straightforward, not too hard. Okay, let's look at the answer key really quick. And I have some tips and tricks to help you memorize these answers a bit better. Okay. So I was talking about single mode and multi-mode. So start memorizing which ones are single, and that way you know they're longer. Multi-mode fiber is going to be shorter distance since it has to send and receive, not just one way. Okay, so that's a little trick that may help you. Um, I, I tend to match the numbers. So if we have, you know, 100, then that's going to be... Oh, it's down here. It's kind of tricky. It's weird, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, that's A. So that one's 100 because it's 100. 1,000 because it's 1,000. 10G because it's 10G. Pretty simple. Um, you'll get the hang of it with some practice. Okay. And for the wavelength, another trick here is, is the fiber single mode or is it multi-mode? Single mode fiber has longer wavelengths. Multi mode has shorter wavelengths. Okay, I hope that helps you prepare for the exam a bit more. Uh, I encourage you to back up the video and pause it and try to quiz yourself if you can. Maybe come back to it in a few days or a few weeks later and keep studying. All right, thank you for watching and good luck on your exam.